Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? Oh, I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Saturday, November the 12th, Na- National Chicken Soup for the Soul Day. I like those books, by the way. Yeah, Had an used opportunity to. to talk to the authors of those books and love, love, love them. Uh, National French Dip Day. I like those, too. Man, that's good. <laughs> yes, you do. National Pizza with the Works Except Anchovies Day. You don't like that. <laughs> Doesn't sound like my thing. Uh, Sunday, November the 13th, National Indian Pudding Day today and World Kindness Day. So it's a, it's a great weekend. And I've got a great guest joining me this weekend as well. A uh, very funny comedian, Kendra Cunningham. And she's got a brand new special out. It's called Meatball Therapy. I kind of need to know what that means. Don't you? I guess. Well, I'm sure it means something. <laughs> so Meatball Therapy is the name of her new comedy special. We'll be chatting with the very lovely, funny, and talented Kendra Cunningham coming up in just a bit. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. According to a recent survey, uh, 86% of Americans will look elsewhere for a gift if shipping is too expensive. Oh, so for sure. Going, oh, no, I'm not paying that much. Yep. Uh, survey talked to 2,910 adults, age 18 and over. Here's the most uh, Here's the most Americans would shell out for shipping for a gift. So, like, how much would you spend to ship something? 34% said uh, up to 5 bucks. 29% said $5.01 up to 8 bucks. 19% said $8.01 up to 10 bucks. And 18% said they'd spend more than $10 to ship an item. So For me, it depends on what it is I'm buying. Yeah, I suppose. And it depends based on, you know, if you're buying something for $8 and it's going to cost $27 right. to ship it. You know how much I would spend typically? Zero. None because I you buy are locally. a local yeah, shopper. Yeah, I'm not a shopper of the old online stuff, but... Trust me, Heidi counterbalances that. Well, Service. I have to. The stuff uh-huh. I, I look for weird, she random does. things, she does. and you just can't find and them. And then people are like, where did you get that? She's like, it was from Zimbabwe. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know, according to a new survey, many of us feel more pressure to tip these days. More businesses switch to cashless checkout. Uh, In a poll of more than 1,000 people in the U.S., 54% said they feel added pressure to leave a tip digitally when they're paying using a store's cashless system. Why on earth would you tip using a cashless system? They're saying, like when they come over and hand you that little, uh, some places do it where you Oh, I thought you meant like at Walmart. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. (laughs) It says 51% they admit they've left a tip when they normally wouldn't because the screen asked them, would you like to tip the server? So I've done that at a coffee shop where they're like, okay, I'll make your coffee. And then they spin the thing around. They go, there you go. And there's like the screen staring at me. That's true. That is true. Would you like to give me a tip? And you're like, uh. (laughs) That is true. When you're like, (laughs) okay. You you haven't made my coffee yet. So yes, I would like to leave you a tip. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. (laughs) That's the one they're talking about. Okay. All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. And we're still hoping they get back together. Friend star Jennifer Aniston is planning to sue Brad Pitt for $100 million. Not So they're uh... probably not, despite Pitt's divorce battle with Jan- Angelina Jolie. He also managed to annoy his other ex, Jennifer Aniston. So there's some, I don't know what's going on. Uh, suing him dis- to dispute his entitlement to $100 million. Uh, so I-, I don't know. What? I don't know. It's There's a... 
A whole story you want to read it, you can. I'm out of this. Breaking Bad star Aaron Paul wants to change his name to Aaron Paul. Yeah, his real name is Aaron Sturdivant, but he's used the name Aaron Paul for so many years that he decided, you know what, I just want to be Aaron Paul. That makes sense. Yeah. Johnny Depp no longer dating his lawyer. <laughs> I didn't know he had started. That's Oh, funny. yeah. Right after the libel suit, uh, they were, uh, you know, seeing each other for a bit, and now they're no longer seeing each other. Ladies all over are like, so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> Probably not. All right. Big Screen, Little Screen brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready for holiday drink menus to be out right now? Is this Does it seem early? It really doesn't seem early to me. I think me. we're getting closer now, but Starbucks debuted theirs a while ago. And people were online saying, oh, it's way too early. And then I saw somebody post, it snows in November because people put up their Christmas lights too early. You are the reason. (laughs) So (laughs) I don't think that has anything to do with that. But uh, Starbucks debuted their 2022 holiday drink menu. And although there are not any new drinks, the coffee chain is bringing back some crowd favorites. And their customary Red Cup O Cheer. Starbucks celebrating 25 years of those festive Red Cups, by the way. And this year's four new designs, all designed to look like they're done up in adorable wrapping paper. (laughs) (sighs) Seasonal drink faves, by the way, uh, that have returned include a thing called a peppermint mocha, a caramel, or do you say caramel or caramel? I usually say caramel, but it depends on what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's caramel. If you want to be pretentious, do you say caramel? <laughs> Pretty much. So do you think it's caramel brulee latte? Yeah. Or caramel brulee Car- latte? Caramel. Mm. Uh, they also have a thing called a chestnut praline latte, toasted white chocolate mocha, and Irish cream cold brew. I gained four pounds just reading that menu. Uh, all of those sound delicious, by the way, but I bet none of those are probably what you refer to as good for you. <laughs> In addition to the iced sugar cookie, almond milk latte is returning after its debut last year. So that's a new one. That, that one came sounds out. way too sweet for Fun me. Fun fact, for the first two years upon the introduction of the Starbucks Holiday Cup, they were actually purple. So everybody knows them as the red cup that every year they have the red cup. Yeah, the first two years, they were not red. They were purple. See? Oh. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Super excited to visit with a very funny comedian, Kendra Cunningham. Kendra, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Thanks for having me. Yeah, excited to have you. Uh, You've been seen on Last Comic Standing, Saturday Night Live, Gotham Live, Jimmy Fallon Show, and now you've got this awesome new special, Meatball Therapy. I love the name. I bet there's a story behind that. Yeah. Well, um, the story behind that is there's a section of the special that's about um, going to therapy, and um, after a while getting so sort of bored with it that I started like eating my lunch in therapy. And uh, so anyways, that's what, that's what it's based on having a, how it's hard to access your feelings when you're eating a meatball sub, you know? <laughs> well, you know what? Now I kind of feel like I need a little meatball therapy. So um, it's, it's making me hungry just thinking about it. So now you started doing, hey, listen, if, if I could be, I was just going to say, if, I, if this uh, leads to me being a meatball spokesperson, I'd be very happy. There you go. We'll be watching for you in maybe the new Subway commercials or something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. 
Now, you started comedy how long ago? Because you, you've done a, a lot of stuff, but how long have you been doing this? Oh, my goodness. Almost 20. I would say, actually, it's probably right around 20 years at this point. Um, I, a lot of comics, they know, like, the first time they went on stage, all that stuff. But I kind of started doing comedy more as, I took a writing class. I wasn't really set out to be a comic. I just was sort of exploring. Um, but somewhere around, I would say, 20, I'm yeah, sorry, 2002, I took a writing class in New York City, and that's uh, how it all started. That's the Gotham Writers Workshop with Dave LaBarca. And after the eight week class, we did a three minute uh, graduate, you know, you got to do three minutes of the graduation show. And uh, that was the beginning of it all. That is awesome. Now, one of the things that I think is really cool, you have been compared to Groucho Marx and Mae West, two amazing people to be compared to. Now, the Mae West part, I see. Did you think it was weird that you were compared to Groucho Marx? (laughs) I did. I was like a little bit like, oh, I wonder where that analogy, you know, comes into play. But listen, you know, I remember I got that right up when I went to, I did the Glasgow Comedy Festival. Um, in Scotland, and I was just pleasantly surprised that they even mentioned me in their tabloids, you yeah. know. Uh, but yeah, Groucho Marx is a funny, a funny one. And it's not because you look like him at all. It's because you're witty like he is. He was just such a witty guy, and I think that's what it is. Yeah, I hope so. That's what I'm going to go with anyway. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be doing some waxing it's not, later. It's not my facial hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, th- this new special, let's talk about this. Uh, it's out right now, so if people want to see it. It came out the tail end of October. Where do they go to see Kendra Cunningham Meatball Therapy? Um, pretty much any cable outlet. Actually, it's on YouTube, too. Nice. Um, there's a link on my Instagram app, the other Kendra. Pretty easy to find. And you do some acting as well. Do you like the acting more than the comedy or the comedy more than the acting or kind of both equally the same? You know, I'm, I'm really trying to do more acting just because, just for like growth and development, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I need to spread my wings a little bit. Um, and plus I love collaborating. You know, as a, as a stand-up, you don't really collaborate. You're pretty independent all the time which I am an independent person, but it's fun when you, when you, like I do a lot of like web series and um, little short videos. And I love that aspect of having other people to work with and, um, and learn from. And I just love to do that on a more consistent basis. And how different is it when you're acting? Because like when you're on stage and you say a joke and a whole room full of people laugh, that is, there's an energy there that's completely different than if you're on set and you say a joke, and there's cameras, and the crew can't laugh or they ruin the take. Does it kind of feel weird when you deliver this funny line, and it's like, oh, man, they didn't laugh? I mean, it does feel weird, and it's funny because, you know, after after show, you kind of know how it went, you know what I mean? Um, whereas after, like, take doing a take of a scene, I feel like I'm always the person who's, like, you know, yearning for feedback <laughs> you know because i'm so used to having that instant feedback for things that i do so um i'm trying to be better of not seeming like i need so much affirmation <laughs> but i do <laughs> well I'll tell you what you're doing phenomenally well thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today no thank you again our guest kendra cunningham her new comedy special is called Meatball Therapy, which sounds delicious, by the way. If you'd like to check it out, you can find it. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At bettercreditcards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The term footage comes from early days of movie making when films were measured in feet while being edited. It was so many feet of film. That's why they call it footage. I did not know that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Scientists have determined that your body truly can feel happiness from head to toe. Nice. 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There's a town in Oklahoma named Hooker, and their slogan is, it's a location, not a vocation. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it, too. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In Venice, Venetian blinds are known as Persian blinds. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's getting weird. Really? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The largest muscle in your body is the one you sit on. Yeah, your your tush. It's That's definitely the largest in my body. <laughs> I didn't say it. You said it. <laughs> eh, moving right along. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The word almost is the longest word in the English language with all of the letters in alphabetical order. So oh. there you go. Now you know. Several fun facts. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50 15 one, five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! Comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. According to a survey, 5% of households that have one of these never even use it. What is that? 5% of households that have one of these never even use it. We know somebody who has one of these, and he's never uses his. I honestly couldn't tell you. Dishwasher. Yeah. Five oh. percent of households who have a dishwasher don't even use the dishwasher. Yeah. We are not one of those households. We use ours. We, Mint Mobile. Yeah, we do. Question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Time now for some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A 2.2 meter, which is 7 feet, King Cobra escaped from its home at a Swedish zoo, but it's back. Came back all by itself after about a week. Oh, he was just (laughs) wanted an outing. Checking things out. Deadly snake, Sir Voss, or Sir Hiss, uh, escaped October 22nd through a light fixture in the ceiling in the glass enclosure. (laughs) Okay, that seems like maybe a bit of an oversight. Maybe the zoo needs to do some repairs. <laughs> the monkey walked out through the bars that were wide <laughs> enough for the monkey to walk out. Now, this uh, this is a, a snake that slithered through this hole as a result of an intensive search with x-ray machines. Houdini, is what they're now calling him, was located earlier this week in a confined space between two walls. Holes were drilled in the walls, but then he disappeared. Turns out... He'd given up his freedom, and he went back into his own enclosure. <laughs> well, like, he's probably figuring, hey, free food. Yeah, I suppose. People yeah. come to visit me. Yeah, nobody came to see me in this wall. <laughs> Weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Uh, which cities are the best cities for sandwich lovers? <laughs> I, don't what? Know. I don't know why these things exist, but I, don't I was looking for a list and this was sent to me. I was like, you know what? That's actually interesting. The 10 best cities and the 10 best worst, uh, 10 worst cities for sandwich lovers. Number 10, Miami, Florida. Nine, Las Vegas. Eight, Orlando. Seven, Philadelphia. Six, Boston. Five, San Francisco. Four, St. Louis. Three, Washington, D.C. The second best city for sandwich lovers, uh, New Orleans. And number one is New York. Now, I was going to say, I bet it's New York. Yeah. And who do you think has the worst sandwiches, according to this? I have no idea. I feel bad for Texas. Irving, Texas. Colleen, Texas. Carrollton, Texas. Middle, Jeez. Texas. Pasadena, Texas. Then finally, we get out of Texas for three Californias. Fontana, San Bernardino, and Chula Vista, California. Wow. Back to Texas for Mesquite. And then the worst place to get a sandwich, according to this, Patterson, New Jersey. <laughs> so they're like, we'll just go over to New York. That is so <laughs> random. I think it is, too. If you want to read all the details and the rankings and how they came up with it, 
I have a link in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At bettercreditcards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today is from Conan O'Brien. He says, the only bathroom law I'm interested in is one that bans loud sighing. <laughs> it's when they were talking about, you know, changing the bathroom rules and if you can come and go and, you know, men use women's, women use men's. His joke was, the only law I'm interested in is one that bans loud sighing. Have you ever been in a bathroom stall? I, I was just going to ask, is no, that a never? thing? Oh, yeah, I've, I've, I've heard, don't know what was going on in the stall next door. Sound like... One, it sounded like a person was wrestling somebody. I was like, what? I is, can honestly say I have is, never what's had. What's happening over there? The men's room must be a it's, whole different world. It is absolutely. You don't want to go there. Trust <laughs> me. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. Time now for some good news. We love wrapping things up around here with good news. Comes your way courtesy of RadioTravelGroup.com. I love this story. A 93-year-old from Ontario says that he's happy that he won the lottery because he'll finally be able to pay off his mortgage. He's 93. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. Richmond Hills, Thomas Gibson. Won a million dollars. This is back in September, 27th of September, in a thing called the Lotto Max Draw. He said that his son was checking his ticket for him, and then he came into the living room and said, Hey, by the way, you just won a million bucks. Besides paying his mortgage off, it says paying down his mortgage. I hope that he's going to pay it off. (laughs) I might as well keep that mortgage. It's only a million. (laughs) Besides paying his mortgage uh, down, Gibson plans to share some of his winnings with his caregivers. Quote, I would dream about this moment every time I bought a ticket, end quote. He's 93. Oh, That is really cool. Here's the thing that's interesting. We've had the discussion because uh, there was just recently a huge lottery that was like about almost $2 billion. And the thing that I found very interesting, we were just discussing it here at, at the office and talking about, you know, what would you do if you won this? And and my favorite answer was Heidi's answer. She said, first thing is, I would tell no one. I wouldn't. <laughs> Not like, a single person. You're trying to tell me there's no way anybody would notice. All of a sudden, you have $2 billion. You come walking in head to toe in Prada and Prada. <laughs> I wouldn't. Wear a fur coat. Drove in in a Bentley. Like, what's going on with you? I would Nothing. not. Did you I win would, the lottery? I that would uh, finish our renovations on the house with with actual contractors. <laughs> oh, instead of me, you, you're saying I'm and not an actual contractor. I would tell no one. I would live in my nicely uh, finished home. Yeah, and tell no one. I'd um, go on more trips. I I am the first to say I guarantee you she would not do that. I wouldn't. All right. Always like to wrap things up. With then the people good news. come out of the woodwork. Oh yeah. All of a sudden they're your best friends. Oh, yeah. You haven't heard from these people forever. <laughs> hey, we should go out. You borrow ten bucks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend.